Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's video. Now today, we're going to be talking about a strategy that can make you between 20 and 40 pips a day. Now, I've kind of restrained myself from making videos like this because uh, it's unrealistic and you know, never, you're never going to get a strategy that gives you 20 to 40 pips every single day. It's just not going to happen. So it just kind of sets you up for failure. Someone can make 100 pips a day and make less than someone who makes, who, who makes 10 pips a day. Okay, because it's about the percentage and the value of each of those pips, like your lot sizes and, and stuff like that, uh, rather than the number of pips. Okay, so the strategy very, very simple start on the 30 minute time frame. Okay, let's just cut back here just for, for ease. Okay, so what we want to be doing is we want to identify the current 30 minute range. Okay, now that would be from the most recent higher low in an uptrend, which this is. Uh, to the most to the highest high okay here okay now this is quite a big range okay and for to expect price to come all the way down here and then all the way back up in a day can happen but just be aware that it is sometimes not as likely okay so what we could do is we could do this okay and i'm not saying the one way is right i'm not saying this is you know definitely the way you should be doing it but uh, you know, it is what it is. And this is just the way that I'm showing you. Okay. So once we've got our range, I cut down to the five minute as my kind of next higher time frame. Okay. And I want to mark out the 50 level. Okay. Why do I want to mark out the 50 level? Because anything below this. Okay. So here is good, is a good price to buy, um, Euro at. Okay. Or whatever pair you're trading. Okay, well, why is that? Well, because if you think about it, if this is the range here, so this is the lowest price we've had, this is the highest price we've had in this time period, then if you have anything 50% or less, you're basically getting 50% off, okay? And instead of thinking about price in terms of levels and blah, 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 just think about it in terms of simple supply and demand. You know, if you're going to the shop to buy a computer, um, you know, if you're getting 50% off or more, then that's great. You're going to be wanting to buy a discount, you know, and sell at a, you know, a high price. Okay. So yeah, so I mark out the 50% level here. Uh, and basically like I will not do anything but look for buys below the 50%. And let's just say price was up here in this kind of range up here and started showing signs of coming down on like a lower time frame i could look for shorts down to the 50 percent level however this range is too small for that in my opinion unless you're trading on the one minute which is fair enough if you are could have got some shorts down there um but yeah let's just stay focused okay so let's just lock this in for now so where are we ideally looking let's cut in and look at the actual market structure here okay so our key level okay would be drawn from here just make that a bit bigger, a bit more obvious. Why would I draw it from here? Well, because if we go to our line chart, okay, okay, let's just imagine it was here, okay, because this is the close, whereas this would be the wick. Um, market structure kind of goes higher, uh, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Okay, so therefore, until that last higher low that created a higher high has been broken, we are still buy bias. Okay, and when we combine that with the uh with our higher time frame analysis in this 30 minute range we can actually get some really really good setups now below that level i also want to put the fake out level i call it okay and i would be putting that here what this is in fact no i'll be putting that here now what is a fake out level well it is a basically another level or another um basically a, another level that creates a range that price could fake out in Meaning if price comes back down to this level, it can, yeah, it can bounce off here, sure. But it could also fake out to any of these levels down to here. I would ideally like to see it um, fake out somewhere in this range. Okay, so let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, so we're simply waiting for price to come into these levels, if it does. Uh, okay, cool. So we look like we're heading into that territory now. Let's cut down to the three minute. Looks like we've already seen some rejection and faked out a little bit. Uh, at this point, I would be comfortable placing a buy. 
I'd probably put my stop at the just a bit faded out. Let me put that up for you. Um, okay, so this is the 0 0.886 level. Okay, this is where I normally put my stops for trades like this. We also have confluence with the 100 EMA. Okay, but to be honest with you, I might actually wait for price to come back down further because we've had this wick, and normally after price wicks like this, we are going to want to come down essentially and i'd normally just target the top of the range here okay so let's just wait and see see what happens okay very very nice okay now if you hadn't if you didn't enter a buy limit here you could cut down to the one minute and enter this manually because remember we are still overall in our buy zone which is here okay and we basically just want to see some evidence that price wants to come up okay okay that is some good evidence for me let's get rid of this so it's a little bit clearer okay so let's just imagine this one got stopped out let's be really negative here okay so then we could enter off the back of this candle hopefully okay we can probably go a bit lower than that let's go three pips and let's target the top of the range. Okay, so a nice one to four and a half risk reward type setup there. Okay, so perfect. Looks like it's going in our direction so far. Um, we have a three pip stop loss. The next rule is you want to have break even at one to 1 1.5. Okay, so in this case, it would be four and a half pips in profit. You're going to want to put that. To break even or alternatively you can just take a partial uh, instead okay so technically that did do it so let's go break even oh close lovely 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 look at that so that's a lovely one to 4.4 there yes minus one R, so we're looking at 3.4 R in uh, in 41 minutes, okay? And yes, that was only 13.2 pips, but there's nothing stopping you holding this more. And again, the the title is always going to be a little bit misleading when people say 20 pips, blah, 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 because if we look at the entire range here, if we're just trading within the range, the whole range is only 17 pips. So you're expecting, you know, more than that um, from a kind of inside the range trade uh, as opposed to outside is going to be a bit uh, ambitious. Alternatively, though, if you want to go up and target a FIB extension, my favorite um, FIB extension number is the minus 0 0.618. If you want to go up and target that, let's look at what that risk reward would be. Uh, stop was below there and it was just there. I mean, lovely. That's almost 11%, assuming you're risking 1%. Let's see if it actually hits it before we start getting excited. Oh, looks close. And there we go. There we go. That would have been a break-even trade as well. So that's running risk-free there. So that would have been 24 pips. Okay, so I hope that you see uh, the power of this. Uh, and I will summarize it for you right now. So the first thing is identify 30 minute range. Okay. Higher low uh, to higher high or lower high to lower low. Okay. Once you've done that, uh, mark out the 50% level. Use the five minute market structure to where the key and fake out level. Information in the form and uh, so, so simple. So to summarize, you want to start on your 30 minute chart as we did here. Okay. We identified our range from this. Ooh. 
We identified our range from this low here to this higher high here. Okay, very, very simple. Then we simply cut down to our five minute and we marked out the 50% level. You can do that on the 30 minute as well. And then on the five minute, we just wanted to identify current the current behavior of the market. Okay, so I wanted to use our market structure knowledge. If you haven't seen my previous videos explaining this in much more detail, uh, then yeah, I highly recommend you go and do that because it'll probably make a lot more sense. So this was our higher low that created the higher high, and this is our key level. This is our fake out range here, okay, meaning that this. Um, would be where we're looking to take buys. Got stopped at once. We took, we saw a candlestick rejection on the lower time frames, and a candle in our direction. And then we simply targeted first of all the top of the range, and then the six, uh, minus zero point six one eight. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Okay, and as extra confluence, the one hundred and the two hundred EMA has confluence. And by confluence, I simply mean you know, if they're both going up like this, we know that the chances are is that price is either going to come back into this zone here and go up or it's going to break. But even if it breaks these EMAs, normally it's either going to be extremely fast paced and you're going to notice it or it's going to kind of consolidate and move into tomorrow's session. Because this is an intraday strategy, uh, you don't need to worry about it too much. You basically just need to see them there. And if price is kind of near there, um, that's absolutely fine, as you can see in this example here. Um, so yeah, so I really, really hope that you enjoyed. I hope I explained that well. Sometimes I can blabble on a little bit. Um, but yeah, if I haven't, I'll happily make another one, um, another video for you. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see psychology-wise, uh, you know, strategy-wise, how I structure my day, what my journey's been like, um, anything like that, then yeah, just leave a comment below and I will get back to you. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, have a great day. Let me know how this goes if you decide to backtest it or anything like that. And until next time, take it easy and happy trading.